So for this recipe, we'll need some salt, some green onions or spring onions or scallions, some garlic, some chopped onions, some yam. You, you don't need to use the whole yam, just about what you need. Some smoked paprika or you can use black pepper or anything, any nice spice you have some eggs and some bell peppers let's get started Mama, come and see. Mama, come and see. so i've cut my ingredients my vegetables and i also cut my yam into cubes to enable the easy mashing so i'm going to season it with some salt and boil it beautifully my yam has actually been boiled. I'm going to be using my potato masher to grind it when it's actually really hot, just right from the fire. Or oh, you can also use the thing your Your tapoli, aka Ghanaian masha. So, I'm grinding and mashing my yam really well. So I'm going to continue mashing it. The tapoli is much more faster. So I'm going to be adding in a teaspoon of my paprika, I'm going to mix it with my ladle, and I'm going to mix it in with my ladle. You can use your spatula or something, but the ladle is much more faster and effective. So it has been mixed in thoroughly. Now I'm going to be adding in so I'm adding in my grated garlic and ginger mixture. Next my chopped onions. These onions have actually been cut into boxes. And I'm also going to add in my scallions. Next, the bell peppers, you don't really need everything. We're going to use some, some of our bell peppers. And set the rest aside. So we are going to be mixing them in thoroughly. So I'm going to crack in my egg and beat it. Also 
providing so the reason why i beat my egg into a different bowl and i didn't crack it into my mixing bowl is that it kind of may be rotten sometimes so you gotta make sure that it's not rotten so i'm going to beat it in really well Can use a whisk or a fork. So we have this color, and now I'm going to drizzle it in my mixture, and mix it really well. At this moment, you have to really make sure the egg is in every single part nook and cranny of your mixture your dough so now our dough is beginning to form together and that's the type of consistency we need right now so i'm going to be mixing it in really well And what I have here is my salt solution. I'm going to just pour it in bit by bit. So this is just like, the salt is like 1 24th of the water and the water is more than the salt. So if you have normal salt, you can use it, but I used rock salt. That's what we use in this kitchen. So we can use it. So I think this is the type of consistency we want for our yam balls. This is going to make your yam balls really good. So now I'm going to be molding my dough into balls. So we are going to a mixture and put it there once at a time. The reason why I uh, make sure it's able to bind or it's able to become round is because of the egg. So the egg is kind of the binding agent in a recipe. So our uh, ball rolling is almost done. It's actually done. So this is how many yam balls we got for our recipe. They look good already. So the final step is to fry it under low heat. You don't want to fry it under high heat or you're not sure if your eggs will fry really well. So uh, yam balls are frying beautifully. Remember, keep them on a low, on low heat. Let them so. So guys, uh, so everyone, my family, my everyone, uh, yam balls are done to get these perfectly rounded balls we put them in an egg wash an egg wash is basically beaten eggs and we fried it if now you're not going to get the round ball you want and 
the inside of our yam balls is just so good so soft so yam ball like <laughs> this, it was so delicious we fried the first batch and did the second batch that you are showing to you the first batch was so delicious so make sure I try this out give me your results in the comments down below give me ideas or food recipes you'd like Pinta to do for you like share and subscribe share the love to your friends let them also try the recipe and you also try it share the love and subscribe to see more videos of us and to keep us going thank you and thanks for watching bye for now